use. Um, so I wrote a whole thing that would take our objects and store them to the database and read them from the database and turn them into objects. And, um, and then there was this middle layer that was done by, by this large medical company. And then we also worked on the front end. So we, we were the way back end and the way front end. And the team that worked on the front end was like, we want to use the stuff you wrote, but we don't understand it. And so I went up and I met this guy, Steve Delio. Delio and um, I sat in his office for like a week. And it was a long week. I think we did like 100 hours that week. Uh, but I just, basically, I sat in the chair and I'd be like, you need to do this. And he'd be like, and he'd open up his code and do it. And he'd be like, but how do you do that? And I'm like, oh, you need to do this. And, and we effectively paired for a week and it was amazing. Like I had never been so productive for so long. And that, that thing when you're programming and you just get into that state of flow and time sort of just speeds by and you just like, that happened almost like solid for a week. Um, and it was really, really good. We rewrote like three quarters of an application in a week. I mean, it was, it was just amazing. Um, and, and I thought for a long time, it just, it was Steve. Like Steve is a great guy. It's still, Steve's still a great guy. But for the longest time I thought, wow, I really like working with Steve. I hope I get to work with Steve again. Um, but then I'd moved back to San Diego and I was working by myself in my own company. And it was just basically me. And I was just lonely. Like I, I just, you know, like when you're working at a company, you get to talk to other people about programming, but you can't talk to normal people about programming because they just look at you like, huh? And so, so I just started lonely. And so um, I, I went and looked for the Java user group, right? Like I was just looking online, like, hey, are there, are there things that people meet up? And, and I found uh, the San Diego Java user group. And so I started going there once a month just so I could like talk about programming to other human beings. And the, the leader of that group, Paul, was a, was a great guy. And um, San Diego gets, the California gets a lot of fires, <laughs> right? So uh, one year, uh, this would be like 2003, we got this huge fire and mm -hmm. Paul's house burned down, uh, but his garage did not burn down, right? So he had like a, a house and a garage that were separate and they weren't that far away, but for some reason the house completely burned to the ground, the garage did not. And so he's like, holy crap, I, I need to move into my garage. <laughs> so he like sent a, a thing out to the list and said, hey, can, can you help me, you know, empty out my garage so, and get it into storage so that I have a place to sleep at night? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah. So, you know, so we went out and we're spending the, you know, the weekend helping him get his garage into a place that he could actually move into. And, um, while we're doing that, I picked up this book. It was just like, you know, I'm picking up a whole bunch of Star Trek stuff and just a whole, a whole bunch of random stuff he had uh, and, and moving it into storage. And I picked up this book that said Pair Programming uh, by Laurie Williams. And I was like, what's this? And he starts telling me about like how it worked. They do extreme programming. And one of the ways they work is by pairing. And he's describing this thing that me and Steve had. And I just, be, I remember being like, like I loved working with Steve. And I was like, are you telling me that I can have this experience that I had with Steve with other people? Like, I want that. I love that experience. I, I want that feeling. I want, I want that back. And so he's like, yeah, yeah, take the book, read the book. So I, I took the book and I, I, I took it home. I read it really quickly. At the time, like I said, I had one employee, right? So it was me and uh, Lars? Lane, it was me and Lane. And um, so right away, I was like, yeah, let's start doing that. And of course, the, the plus side is when you're, when you're paying someone, um, you can just say you're going to work in a certain way and they'll do it. Like, that's a, that's a super side effect. Um, and so that started my pairing. And I, I apparently misunderstood what Lori was writing about. Um, but when she talked about driver navigator, I interpreted very literally that like, 
you know, the person at the keyboard is the person typing and the navigator is the person instructing. And, and that's sort of where strong style programming came from, strong style pairing. Um, I didn't know it was different. It didn't occur to me that it wasn't what other people were doing uh, until almost seven years later when I was at my first conference. And I started pairing that way and other people were like, what the hell are you doing? Right, like at the time, like people were just like, this isn't, this isn't right. This isn't what pairing is. Um, but to me, it was exactly what pairing was because I had done it basically 40 hours a week for, for seven years that way. Like that's how we programmed uh, for all of the development.